Embarking on a journey to regard the community in the referring area of Brutunuka Government Area Delta State is a harrowing experience as the access road to the community is impassable while farmland and household property has been taken over by flood. The only major road leading to the community has been severed due to the torrential rainfall coupled with surging water level from the river Niger. Some local residents who commented on the untold hardship they are passing through said their livelihood had been destroyed and called on relevant authorities to come to their rescue. Just because of the way the flood is every year, we want relief material. The government should please assist us so that they can help us with relief material. Those who are coming home cannot get home. For example, like myself, I like to come home. I want to get to the village, go to my house. My house has been submerged with, uh, by the flood. And uh, I cannot even go and access to the place because it's the one way in and one way out. So we can we don't have access to the to, to our community right now. But I don't carry us finish. We the first all the for me, see all the chop. Now no money now. Small money we'll get now they don't run up a dance road. Make government empower us now, make they do something for us. Because people they park, damage is full, full everywhere. In another development, over 10 Isoko communities have been submerged by water while several people have been displaced. The situation has forced youths of Ume in Isoko North local government area to risk their life to prevent the Ume bridge that connects many communities from collapsing. They call on relevant authorities to urgently intervene to avoid human casualties in the area. From Igodo in Burutun local government, Benga Hamid reporting.